Hello guys, this is Coaster Craft Productions, meaning my blog for roller coasters and Minecraft and sometimes creepy pastas. And I will show you my top five roller coasters. And sorry about the video, so I had to do something. But anyways, my top five roller coasters at Knott's Berry Farm, which is a park in the east across the country. My home park is Cedar Point, and guess what? This is Cedar Point's little sister. Actually, I have three Cedar Fair Parks near my house. The closest one is Cedar Point. Second closest is Kings Island. And my third closest, which is in Arlington, Pennsylvania, Dorney Park. But I normally go to Cedar Point and Kings Island. Knott's Berry Farm, I've been to Knott's already. But I hardly ever go there now because, I mean, you know, this is Ohio right now. And I'm closer to Cedar Point now. I'm actually closer to Cedar Point. And... Pretty much, the, we have three closer Cedar Fairs. Uh, Kings Island is not a complete Cedar Fair. The original Cedar Fair Park is my home park, Knott's. I mean, Cedar Point. Gosh, I mean, say Knott's because of the video, Knott's. But I'm actually, my home park is Cedar Point. My top five is Montezuma's Revenge. Uh, manufactured from Anton Schwarzkopf. My, my spelling, my spelling is terrible. I don't know German names. This is a flywheel looping coaster. Uh, RCDB counted as one. So if you go check that website out, Roller Coaster Database, I'm going to put a link to, down in the description. And it opened in 1978. But it's a really good ride. It's really fast. So if you're a beginner, if you're a thrill seeker beginner, then Montezuma's Revenge is for you. We have Accelerator. It's built by Intamin, and it's an accelerator mega coaster, so it's like a hyper coaster. It is a hyper coaster with a launch in it, and because it has a, of course, it's 205 feet tall, and it has two helixes, so I consider it a hyper launch coaster. So it's like, you think of Millennium Force and Top Thrill Dragster, but the shorter version. This is actually 200 feet less than Top Thrill Dragster with Millennium Force Helixes and I rank it number four and it opens 2002 I do like launch coasters like Montezuma's and Accelerator but that's why I made it a list and number three we have Boomerang I call it Boomy because there's a lot of boomerangs and the manufacturer is the Vacoma coast um, it's from Vacoma it's my favorite roller coaster company I like I like roller coasters of, that are from Vacoma I, I remember we had we have a Vacoma coaster, but not in my home park. We, we do, but it's actually a small roller coaster. I don't count it to have a big Vacoma ride. And my second home park, which is Kings Island, has a Vacoma inverted coaster. And we also have another Vacoma ride, the Flying Dutchman, which is, which is a Firehawk. And I hardly go to Kings Island, so I may not remember the rides much, but I mostly remember Cedar Point. Because I mostly go to Cedar Point and Dorney Park. And Dorney Park also has a Vacoma, which is the Stinger, which came from, uh, from of course, uh, from the same state where Knott's is, but in the northern, which is, I believe, Great America, I believe. Not Six Flags, but um, Great America. But yeah, Great America. But this is a Vacoma boomerang and the only Vacoma coaster down in Southern California because we had one in Magic Mountain, but they took it down. And well, I wouldn't matter because Magic Mountain is not my home park anyway. My home Six Flags is Six Flags Great Adventure. So we don't have a Vacoma either. But we do have a, another Vacoma boom. We have a Vacoma boomerang, which is a more Pierce, which is in my home park at the pier. But yeah, the closest one is New Jersey. But right here, we have a Vacoma boomerang. And this is, I consider, I've been on this boomerang and it's not as bad as the one in my home park, which is Maurice Pierce. Number two, we have my favorite ride, a knot. Uh, and I really like rough rides. Like I said on my old video, it's called Ghost Rider. It's actually the second roughest roller coaster I've ridden behind Mean Streak. I rode Mean Streak and it's rough as hell. But, I didn't mean to say heck, but that ride was so rough, like, I really want to ride it again. Because, of course, like I said, I really like the rough rides. I like roller coasters that have rougher rides, and 
That's why I ranked this number two. Because I'm already used to it. I've been riding Mean Streak over and over. And when I go to the road, Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider is nothing like Mean Streak. Meaning it's actually the second roughest roller coaster I've ridden. Yeah, it's from Custom Coasters International. It's a wooden twister coaster, just like my home park's um, Mean, Mean Streak. And it opened in 1998. Mean Streak opened, I believe, seven years before. And to number my top number one is my favorite roller coaster at the park is Silver Bullet. You know, this is the most underrated coaster because it doesn't have force. But Silver Bullet is an inverted floorless looping coaster. I consider floorless because the coaster doesn't have a floor in it. So it's a floorless coaster. And like my favorite element on every roller coaster is the Cobra Roll. I love the Cobra Rolls. They're my favorite inversion. It's actually a dual inversion. It's like the Vacoma Boomerang I have at the same park. It opened 2004, 2005. I would consider this a 2005 coaster because it was like when I looked at it, at the websites I researched that this ride opened in December 2004, but I consider that as a 2005 season ride. And I put more pictures because this is my favorite roller coaster at the park. It was really sm smooth, so if, to take a break, if I want to still ride roller coasters without roughness, then Silver Bullet will take the break. Because Silver Bullet is the only smooth coaster, so if you guys like smoother roller coasters, I will say ride Silver Bullet. If you really... Because Silver Bullet is not as really scary as Batman the Ride or Raptor at my home park. But Silver Bullet is actually new and it's really smooth. And you know my home park, Raptor, it was, makes a lot of noise with the with the track. Because it's a Bollinger and Mavillard's, you know, sound box. Or, yeah, I call it a sound box because it makes a lot of noise when they go through the track. I hear it and I consider it scary or it's like I have, it's like there's dinosaurs roaring on each other. But Silver Bullet doesn't have that stuff because Silver Bullet has sand on the roller coaster track on the box. That's why it doesn't, I, I could hear a little bit or zero to make it quieter. I could hear like it was a Vacoma inverted coaster. But yeah. And I will say thanks for watching. Uh, this is Coastercraft Productions and like and comment and subscribe. And this is Coastercraft Productions and I am signing out.